How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in today's video I'm going to be walking through uh, the Chrome extensions that are going to be really helpful in growing your Amazon business. Uh, those are going to be some big time savers as far as getting through online arbitrage leads or wholesale leads, um, whatever you're trying to get into. Um, before we start the video, I just want to say if you could hit the subscribe button below, I'm going to be helping out your business. If you could help out mine for free by hitting that subscribe button, let's make this a trade. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the info. So some of these Chrome extensions I'm sure you will have heard of, um, but I'll just go ahead and go over all of the Chrome extensions that I use for my Amazon business. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just go to Amazon to kind of show off this first extension I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm just going to pull up an example. Let's just go for bird feeders. Let's say we are um, looking for a wholesale product, for example. Um, if we're looking for a wholesale product, we're going to want to be looking for something that is not sold by Amazon and has more than one seller, um, which typically we would have to click through the listing or use a software like Jungle Scout, which you can also use. Um, but I'll just show this off real quick because DS Amazon Quick View is this little box right here. Um, this box shows you just kind of a snapshot of the rank, shows you how many sellers it has on it. Um, and that's super useful for kind of getting through those wholesale leads um, a little bit faster. Um, you can also use it sometimes for online arbitrage when you're vetting out um, products that Amazon is on. Um, so we're just going to look through here and if you're looking for a, maybe a potential wholesale brand you'd want to talk to, um, instead of having to click through on all these, you can see at a glance that these all have one seller or they're sold by Amazon. So you're not going to be able to get an, a wholesale account with them. Um, one other method you can do using a different extension to kind of find those wholesalers is the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click this Chrome extension here. Um, it's going to pull up everything on this page. And then from here, we're going to go to the menu. We're going to filter the results. And then we're going to try to get Amazon off of it. And we're going to try to get um, products with more than, uh, or we're going to look for products that have more than one seller so that they're not private label. So I'm going to say it has at least two sellers and the buy box seller is FBA or FBM. Um, so now we won't find any listings with one seller or Amazon on them in this data down here. So then from here, I would go ahead and look for products that have a considerable, considerable amount of sellers. Um, this is one right here. Um, this brand right here has 11 sellers, so you can kind of see how useful this would be um, for finding those wholesale suppliers. Um, this, this one right here I saw might have been a pretty good example of a wholesale supplier. Um, looks like actually this is one new offer, it's just a bunch of used offers. Um, but that can kind of help you get through those leads, um, kind of vet out the ones that Amazon and private label brands are selling already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this listing here just to demonstrate how useful Jungle Scout is for online arbitrage. This is where I use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension myself. Um, this Chrome extension I believe is about $200 a year, um, but it's a yearly purchase so it's kind of a sunk cost. Um, and if you use my link below you're going to be able to get 30% off of that. Um, but the way I use it for OA is using it to calculate how many sales that I would generate from this listing. Um, as you can see right here, it tells me at a glance that this product is selling 1600 units. We've got 11 sellers on this listing here. Um, so we would go ahead and take that uh, 1600 divided by 11. Um, and then you could also kind of uh, look into who's selling it specifically. In this case, it's just a bunch of Amazon warehouse listings. Um, but for an online arbitrage product, um, there'd be a bunch of different sellers and you'd want to look and see who's actually competitive. Or you can just kind of take this number here, um, run your calculations. Uh, so 1600 divided by 11 would be like uh, 150 ish or so. Um, so then you would go ahead and purchase that quantity based on the calculations that you're seeing down here. You can also use Jungle Scout, uh, junglescout.com slash estimator is also going to do the same thing. But when you're doing um, this all the time, trying to figure out how many you need to buy, it can kind of save time, especially for that only $200 cost. I think it's worth it personally. This next Chrome extension I'm going to talk about is this box right here. I get questions about this one all the time. This one's called Check Permission. I believe it's $10 a month. Um, I don't have a code for this, so you can go ahead and just look it up. Um, but so sometimes it kind of glitches out a little bit. It's not the greatest, um, but I think it's super handy for online arbitrage because it works every time when you're looking through on these listings themselves. Um, so this is going to tell us if I can sell it or not. Um, so from there we would be able to tell if I'm gated. So the, all this is doing is just kind of, so you can see I've got my Amazon seller, open it up in another tab, and then as long as you have that, then this Chrome extension is going to be able to tell you if you can actually sell this item. Um, another uh, 
precaution I like to use. Um, so that kind of checked for gating. Um, you also want to keep in mind that you could get IP complaints when you're doing things like online arbitrage. So you want to stay away from those problematic brands that might give you trouble. Um, ask for kind of invoices and stuff when all we've got is receipts. We'd have to get the right customer service rep. It could be a pretty, um, pretty big headache to get it fixed. Um, but this little green check mark right here tells us that we are um, good to go as far as selling it. So we can see that we could sell this product, um, but we, we, it would also show a little bit of a red X and it would also warn us But before we go ahead and um, click through on the listing. It'll make you press a little box that says, okay, I'm aware that this brand will probably file IP complaints against me if I try to sell it. Um, so it's just kind of a good uh, precaution as far as uh, finding it for sourcing items. The next Chrome extension I'm going to talk about, this is an obvious one if you've been selling on Amazon at all, you're going to have to have Keepa to sell on Amazon. Pretty much any business model, Keepa is a must. It's only about $20 a month, so you have to make the investment in Keepa. It's going to help inform your buying decisions so much. Um, it's going to be able to tell you when Amazon was in stock in the past. Um, it's going to tell you how many uh, new offers were in the past to kind of predict uh, pricing. So if the price goes way down, but new offers also goes up, then you're going kind to of be able to figure out what happened in the past. If that's happened in the past, it'll help you kind of make those pricing decisions going into the future. Um, Keepa is an absolute must. Um, the next Chrome extension I use, this is also a free Chrome extension. Some people use RevSeller to do this, which is a paid extension, but this one is actually free um, and it calculates your fees for you. Um, I don't use RevSeller personally because I like this one. I think this one does a fine job at calculating fees. I know RevSeller has a couple extra perks that this one doesn't, but I'm happy with this. So let's say we were able to source this product for like $6.50 from a wholesaler. Um, it can just at a glance tell us that we're, we would be making this and let's say we also want to consider the cost of shipping it in for me cost to ship into Amazon is about 30 cents a pound so it would cost me about a dime to send this into Amazon so then this is um, give or take our net profit on this um, after we consider maybe shipping from a wholesaler and all that good stuff but you're able to really consider what this product would really cost you um, sending it into Amazon you can also do the same thing with FBM um, and you can plug in how much it would cost you to ship it so let's say it costs you four dollars to ship this product you would be able to tell that it costs you or you would be able to make three dollars and nine cents on this product so I think this is a really handy product to use um, and it's basically a free version of RevSeller. Um, the next extension I'm going to show you how to use is called Honey. I'm sure a lot of you use Honey already. Um, here's just a quick example from a Harry's order that I've been making um, to go ahead and this is one of my replenishables. Um, it found me this coupon and it saved me 10% off my Harry's order. Uh, this is an absolute must if you're selling online arbitrage. Um, pretty much anytime you go to a checkout cart, up at the top it's going to say, do you want to try some coupons? It's going to automatically run those coupons and you don't have to worry about missing out on um, saving some of that by cost because it'll find those deals for you. Um, and then the last Chrome extension I'm going to recommend is called Rakuten. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Rakuten. Uh, if you don't already have Rakuten, you can go ahead and check it out down below. Um, if you sign up and spend, I believe, like 30 or $100 or something, uh, we both get 30 free dollars. So go ahead and check that out if you want some free money if you don't have Rakuten already. Um, but it's going to show you, for example, let's just go to Macy's. So it's telling us that Macy's is going to give us 2% cash back. And then we could go ahead and activate that. And so now for the rest of our shopping trip on Rakuten or on Macy's here, uh, we would go ahead and get that 2% cash back sent directly to our Rakuten account. And as you can see, I've made about $1,500, $1,600. I'd spend $1,200 um, from this quarter alone. So I'm really figuring out how to use Rakuten lately. Um, it's a super powerful Chrome extension and just website on its own. And you definitely should be using it. So that's all the Chrome extensions that I use in my Amazon FBA business. If you think that I left something out, or if you think that one of these Chrome extensions is replaced better with something else, let me know. I'm always open to, to learn about some new tools. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop those down below. Um, if you want to check out, we, we just launched a free Discord for you guys to go ahead and check out. Uh, we've got over 300 people pushing 400 people in there on the first day. Um, so it's been an awesome experience. Go ahead and ch jump in that community. Um, there's been a bunch of helpful people. Uh, we're all going to kind of learn from each other in there. Um, if if you want to go ahead and click like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, that's going to help me out the algorithm. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Thanks, guys.